Whether you're looking to buy an electric vehicle or already have one, a big question is, how far can you go on a battery charge? Inside Science TV. The answer might depend on whether you live in the balmy California coast or in parts of the freezing Midwest. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University looked at data from Nissan Leaf drivers from model years 2012 and 2013, together with weather information to learn how super hot or super cold days affect electric vehicles. What we were interested in this study was that factors that can affect the efficiency of a vehicle, which include the climate or the temperature, uh, how that would affect the range, efficiency, and emissions of that vehicle. What did they find? Uh, electric vehicles on average consume about 15% more energy per mile when they're driven in an extreme weather region like Phoenix or, or Minneapolis. That means if they're consuming more energy that they will have lower range. It gets worse. On peak days where the temperature is at its extreme, uh, the range could drop by 40% or more. Basically, what that means is... A vehicle that normally gets a 100-mile range, it would only get 60 miles on this uh, extreme weather day. That could add a bump in the road to your travel plans. If you wanted to drive from uh, D.C. to Baltimore and back, you, on a normal day you could do that in an electric vehicle, but on an extreme weather day, you might not be able to make the whole trip. You might have to stop and charge, and that might take hours. An important factor that influences battery life is temperature. Batteries are less efficient in extremely cold conditions and degrade more quickly in very hot conditions. Plus, cranking up the heat or AC uses even more energy and drains the battery. But there's things drivers can do during extreme weather days. One of the biggest factors uh, is the use of heating uh, and air conditioning to, to keep the cabin comfortable. So if you reduce the use of heating and air conditioning, then you can maintain a longer range. Using electric uh, seat heaters might help you not need to keep the air in the cabin quite as warm because you're warm, you're being you know, heated. So some uh, strategies like this can help reduce the energy needed to keep passengers comfortable and then extend the range of the vehicle. Researchers only looked at data for the Nissan LEAF. However, they expect the weather effect to be similar for other electric vehicles. Even they were surprised by the findings. We expected temperature would have an effect, that's why we got interested in the study, uh, but we didn't really know the magnitude of the effect, and I think the magnitude is a little bit surprising. So if you're thinking of buying an electric vehicle or own one, you might want to check the weather first, before a long road trip. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.